this is the design that we began with the abstract just the basic placement of where I want to put the design on the sideboard and today I am working on the actual design in more detail so when I go to draw the you know the flowers and so forth on the sideboard it'll be deta more detail again but I need to plan this out so I have a very clear um, view of what it's going to end up looking like and I'm going to pick my flowers and so forth. I really love peonies they're a bit detailed and tricky to paint but um, they are beautiful so I'd like to put some peonies in it uh, and I'm going to just start with that. I have to kind of uh, this might pro process might take a little while because I've really got to think about it and um, you know it's actually I, I got a little bit anxious about it probably because I'm doing it in front of people but I got got a bit anxious about the design because I mean once it's done and it's on your piece it's done and um, painting a color is one thing you can just go and paint it again it's, it takes you so much time but painting a painting on a piece it takes a long time and you don't want to be redoing it again so you really want to take advantage of this time planning it out and this is why I like to do this or I feel safe to do this. Peonies are where I'm going to start. I've I've just got my computer up uh, and I'm googling images. Uh, it's important not to breach copyright with images to respect all copyright with photographers and artists and so forth so I'm only going to take the influence of what I see not you know copy something exactly it's a lot of work to find out what you have rights to do you know to blatantly copy and what you don't so it's best to just avoid it altogether I'm going to just look at this um, whole page of peonies I'll just show you there up on the computer that's what I'm kind of looking at they're photographs not other people's artwork I'm just gonna sketch roughly a few in here because I do want them to be a feature so I I want I want one here for sure so I'm gonna have petals that come up over this over this top piece and I'm just going to roughly suggest so I know that that's going to be a peony so this one's going to be obvious on the actual face of the sideboard but go up and over onto the top so on now I def I'll have one over here so so this dark little section I'm drawing is just the middle where the stamens would be. So you can see I'm not fussing too much, but I just want a suggestion of it. And I'll do one there as well. I might do one that's a little bit more closed. I've got this over the handle here, but I might have it actually coming down over the... Oh, no, maybe not. I was going to say coming down over the edge, but if I do that there, it's going to repeat that there. And we've got to, like I said before, there's the knob there. Like I said before, you don't want to have anything that... An element that repeats and it kind of looks like it's a copycat. So I won't do one there because it's going to overlap. And it'll look like it will, will look wrong so I'll do the overlap here where I intended to do an overlap so I'll do a closed one and I want to see enough of the flower to know what the flower is so I'll bring it up just a little so then my previous circle that I drew there so I know I'm going to be able to tell what that flower is so there's one there, one there, one there, one there, looking very even at the moment. So we've got some circles here to fill in. I might go three and two. 
So I will do that as one. Um, taking in account, I've got this handle that's in the way. So I've got to really think about where I'm going to place it so it doesn't, um, it's not in a really important spot. So I might open it right up and have a petal there and, and make the center of it there. So it's kind of looking backwards. So I've got different directions too. That one's going that way. That one will be going that way, pointing that way. That one's going that way. That one's going that way and that one's going that way. So I'm varying the angles as well. Um, because I'm doing kind of a splay across it. So it's not a realistic thing so much, but they're, it just adds interest to the design. And then so we're not to onesie here, one, 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 one. I'm going to add a second one to this one, I think. Because that's your main design. So there's your handle there. I might just come up close to the handle. And I'll put another one in there. <clears throat> so you've got two together. Two together. I think we could carry one here too, right in the corner. Over that corner. I think we might just even suggest a little one there going to be a bit of painting guys which I'll worry about later but um, and what I'll do with with the um, t the taping of this I will show you a slow version you know just real some real time stuff and then I'll speed up some stuff so you're not having to labor through every minute of every hour of this design so, so that's our peonies because they are super pretty on here. They're coming up onto the top and I kind of think we can't peter it out too much, but I might, I'm just going to, I might take it up so that the, there's peony buds coming out when it reaches the top rather than actual full peonies so peonies 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 and I'll throw one up here okay those two I need to vary the the size and um, I'll have one that's kind of broken open with its oh that will come down here broken open with its greenery there it's just vary it. Those two look wrong. So I'm going to add a third to that. Now remembering I've got a lot of foliage I'll have to add to as well. But I'm just staying with the flowers at this stage, deciding on the flowers, and then the foliage will go in around it. If I start drawing the foliage now, um, it, the foliage might take over important placements of the flowers. And it's about the flowers, not the foliage. The fo foliage just complement and, you know, just carry the, the colour in the flowers. And I do think if I, I'm, I'm thinking I will go pink um, because I've got this grey sideboard and I think it'd be really nice to have the pink peonies. Um, I don't know what you think about that, but um, I don't normally do a lot of pink and I'm looking forward to that. I've always loved them just, I think, because they're just so soft they're so pretty for i mean flowers are pretty and um peonies are just they're just a soft version of a rose if you like yes i think the pink and gray is going to look really nice i've just i've just typed in the google search peonies with and seeing what oh you know what would be beautiful blue like corn flowers or something pink and blue would look um magnificent oh, soft pinks blues and greys this is what I've got right I've just seen that but I've just spotted this blue pe uh, blue peony I think it's just a fake silk, silk flower that one but I've just spotted that color and you know I am a blue girl 
um, that I just think the pink, blue and grey would be lovely. And then with the leaves, I can tie the blue into the green of the leaves. So I've, pl I've started the placements of the peonies, peony roses, and I'm thinking something blue to go with it, or even a, like a really light teal colour um, with the grey. In fact, that would probably be softer, a light tealy colour. I'll make a note for myself, and I'll put forget-me-nots on here. As fillers so I've got when I've done the main design with the big the big parts in it if I need to kind of balance up little gaps and areas I'll use the forget-me-nots to do that and maybe some gypsophila you know the little white fluffy they call it bridesmaid brides veil or something bridesmaid veil or something like that I could do that because they'll be very tiny they'll be small um, what was the other thing? Canterbury Bells. Canterbury. So I'm using Google Images just to get ideas. So I'm just going to make notes. So this is just a thinking process. I'm going to park them though because they're still smallish. I might look up irises. I'll try and keep to the colours. I'm picking all the things that are hard to paint, mind you. Okay, I'm going to pull out another one. I'm just keeping this in my head. I'm just going to look up rose bouquet. Just to get some ideas. And they're just showing me just roses, mind you. Just seeing what else can be mixed in that looks good. But it's probably good to celebrate a bit of Australian this too. Maybe some gum leaves. Um, as in those round ones. Just thinking of contrast of shape, and you know what's nice if you can pick flowers that are, you know, aren't, aren't that common in cheap bouquets and stuff, so that are a luxury that we really celebrate. So maybe some tulips. I'll add some tulips. I'm going to add some tulips. So I'm just going to put the base shape. I'm going to have that come out onto the top tulips in here it's going to be a big flower there so I'm doing groups of three and then one there to break up the shape you do really just have to do this by feel a bit I'm, I'm ignoring the cupboard at the moment. I just, I don't want to let the drawers or the fear of going up and over an edge of a drawer or anything like that to distract me. I'm just focusing on what would look really good as a design. Because this will be the feature. This is definitely going to be the feature of this sideboard. Okay, so they're all tulip heads, which um, kind of like that. But I don't need to draw it in detail. I just need to draw it in a way that we know what they are. Because all that work I'll put, it, put into the actual sideboard itself. So they're splaying out and following that line that I had through here and through there, which is probably a little bit hard to see on the video, but you can go back to the other one, you'll be able to see it, or the picture I've got in the group. Okay, so there's the tulips, and now tulips, um, with all the flowers, you do want their leaves represented, the different shaped leaves, because it just look, wouldn't look right. So I'm going to add some leaves. I probably can take advantage of those leaves up on the corner of that cabinet. I'll push the... Um,
I'll show you a close up when it's done. Now there's no tulips here. So I might just throw one there and there. So it's a bit of a scribble. What else have we got? I'll just look up Australian natives. Mmm, I love the Waratahs. We could make the Waratahs a real feature in the middle. That would be nice. Because I'm, I'm after a round one here anyhow. So I might just go a little bit bigger. And that's going to be interesting to go over the... Um, edge with that I had a lovely um, in my last place I lived in I had a beautiful Waratah bush in the block next door it used to be a um, a nursery but it was deserted you know nobody it was just overrun and everything and they had this bush it was beautiful once a I think it was once a year or twice a year it had it just blossomed and all, and all the flowers would be wasted so I'd nick over and grab a few for for home, they were just gorgeous. I think one in there, and a sneak peek of that over the edge. This is going to look amazing, guys. I can, I don't know if you can visualize this, but <laughs> this is going to be pretty special. And I'm going to work out what to do with this space. This is kind of we can't put one there, I don't think, though. Mm. Maybe smaller ones, younger ones. The bottle brushes are yellow. Oh yeah, there's yellow waratahs. There's the fluffy ones. Oh, you know what? The pink ones. There are pink ones. They ha they have kind of like the they're kind of really soft and fluffy rather than the those red ones. That would probably work in better because if we've got a white center to play with too, so we can have that light on the grey as well, which is nice because I wanted to add some white. That's what we'll do. So um, again, I'll just pink and white. They have a lot of foliage that come up too, so that's a good filler. See, see, this is this is the thing. This is why we don't start with the foliage because once we've got our flowers, the flowers need its foliage to go with it. Once we've added that, see how much space I've filled in already. Now this is my shorthand, which I think I mentioned in part one that the short. It ends up being shorthand, but I can see what it is, but I'm hoping you can visualize that. And the greens look really nice with the Waratahs. Ghost gum green, the moss kind of green. Actually, I might use moss for it, let me think. Okay, I think now, see this is all starting to fill in and that's pretty established. This is pretty established or this corner got this is little bit of a gap there then this we've got this group happening here that's fairly established we've got the tip doesn't have to have it much done to it but we've got these gaps now I have to tie this in this is what this is what I've got to think about now so I think this has to now now look at it I had this coming to here but I think I've got to overlap it and bring it up here to fill that in I think I need something here to cross through there. I need another round shape in there. So I'm going to, all right, this is going to be complicated. This is going to be pretty full on design. Um, I never do things simply, I don't think, guys. Okay, there's a, another Waratah, I think, in there. 
So we've got another one there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, which is an uneven amount too, which is perfect. And this can be... This can be another... I feel like there needs to be rows in it. No, I'll just put another painting. I don't want to get too many different ones. Okay. So that's there. We need something here. We're going to have floor, we're going to have greenery, greenery there. I think this is these these sections here I think for the Canterbury bowls. These sections here. So the Canterbury bells equals that shape rather. And I'm going to put them in there too, I think. And I think the greenery will make up the difference. Then we can add forget-me-nots if we need to. So the Canterbury bells kind of all splay out. Oh, won't this be fun? This could take a while. Okay. I think that's it. Okay, now, I think that's it, guys. I think that's where I'm going. I do th this is not quite working, though. I think... I don't think I'm going to join. I've got to watch that doesn't join. I need that to finish there, to stop there. And then that's coming up there, and then that can go up there. So I need some maybe just some foliage coming out from there. Yeah, once we've got foliage, that will be pretty full. <laughs> It'll be pretty full on. Okay, I'm going to move you in closer so you can see. <laughs> so coming up from the leg, we've got the peony there, a bit of foliage coming up, and a second peony there. Then you've got the Canterbury Bells hiding in that gap there with another big peony there, peony buds, peony... Canterbury bells, um, buds, buds, the waratah, another waratah hiding behind there, um, peony, 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 a waratah hiding behind there, the buds in there, a lot of foliage, peony, peony and buds coming up onto the, the top. You've got some buds coming out of there, a waratah, so you, it's not just waratah here, a smaller waratah up here, um, Canterbury bells moving up onto the top and up here before it goes up into kind of buds and just light stuff there. So that is the design. Nutted out. Now, can you imagine how much time that would have taken if I had done it on the sideboard? It would just would have been too hard. So, so just having that drawing has helped me plan and I know that I'll get a better design than if I've gone straight to the sideboard and tried to just wing it. That's where we're going. That's what I need to draw up on the sideboard before I can paint. Just the outlines of it, just the placement again of where these where these flowers are going to go, and then go in with the paint from there. So there you go. I might actually make a PDF of this if you want to practice. If you want to just not do just do this design, but if you want to print this out and have a play yourself, just to experiment. Um, I'll put a, a file in in the files. There's a file section 